Good morning. Hey guys, it's the 20th. Sunday. Wow. Sunday fun day. So this is our last day off in this five day stretch. Got to mm -hmm. go back to work tomorrow. But we'll make the most out of today. Yeah. We'll have some fun for Sunday fun day. Yeah. First off though, coffee. Coffee. All right, here we go. Day 20 coffee. I'm gonna go in through 10 to get 20 open. The surgeon at work here. Ah, not doing very good. What'd I say? What'd you say? Colombian. I said it would be Colombian today. Ah, oh, boy. Ah, oh, man. Well, I guess we gotta put it in the machine. Here we go. All right, it's coffee time. Are you ready for the Colombian coffee? Yes, I know you're pretty upset about this because you were expecting one of the other more jolly no, flavors. No, 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 no. I said I thought this would come on Sunday, so the rest of the week would be all holidays. Oh, Holiday gotcha. blend, Santa's blend, so we are peppermint not, burke. We're not upset about this, so. I mean, it's disappointing, but it was in the cards. It was in the heart of the cards. Here we go. Uh, Kalink. Oh, that was. coffee it's good it's coffee how can you fight some colombian coffee did you just put creamer in it or did you put i put it? eggnog <sighs> oh fresh if you wanted to try it with the eggnog try mine. Ugh. Ugh. yeah the cinnamon really hides the rest of the colombian flavors yeah his is Colombian flavors with some eggnog. Eggnog. Not enough to hide it. Not enough to hide it. Okay, well, coffee was okay, but we still have... Still a beer. Still a beer, and that's always a fun surprise. Do we have cat or do we have wine today? We have wine today. So we gotta do that too. Up a bail. All right. All right. Day 10. Like Michelle has been saying, you can kind of see what it is just based off of because there's so many gaps in it. So we are on a very dark red, it looks like. What is Cabernet, it? Cabernet, Savion, a Syrah. Oh, that looks really dark. Oh, through the aerator. Okay. All right, it's day 20 of beer. So excited. This is literally the greatest thing that we've ever done. I just have to be careful now because you're gonna wanna... reveal too much. All right, let's see. What the? Oh, hypno. Hypno pompa or something? Hypno pompa. pompa? I think oh. I've had this one before, but I think you have too. This can is super cool. Like this is it's looking at you. It's cookie. very sleek. Ah! Oh, he does have that, like the eyes, like the. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Look at my ponytail, don't mind me. <sighs> I smelled this and it didn't s smell delectable at all. I'm just kind of... But, so David, David cut the clip earlier. The only fun thing I can think of this is it's a Syrah. I think that's how you say it, that's how I'm saying it. The old man in the Aristocats who sings rah, 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 boom, die. That's so all I got. So it's a Sarara Boom Die. Does it give you a boom? Sure. Keep going now, Andy. Ugh. Oh, cat. So bitter. Oh. So dry. That is just not my in my repertoire of wines I enjoy. 
Whew. Okay, let's move on to greener pastures. So the Omnipolo Hypnopampa is an imperial stout brewed with marshmallows and uh, Madagascan vanilla beans. Let's see that can again. Let's see them eyes. Mmm. Ooh, really creepy, see. creepy, creepy. Woo! Okay. It looks pretty good on the background with your shirt in yeah, the background. Yeah, it almost looked like it was floating. That's so, 11% alcohol. Pretty strong. It's gonna be pretty tasty, I think. You never clinked for anymore. I'm turned up to clink. Okay. Ooh, you can smell the marshmallow. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's pretty good. It's hard to go wrong with that. You really get the smell of the marshmallow. You get the taste of the marshmallow. The vanilla settles well at the end. Mm -hmm. It's kind of um, alcoholic s'mores in a cup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a good. Ooh, boozy s'mores. Ooh. It's like the s'more at the ganachery. Oh, we'll yes. We'll link that one down below. So if good. you guys haven't been to that at Disney Springs, Go. And they're still selling it because I thought mm -hmm. it was just for the like nope. mid like for Halloween esque. But or, I saw it on Instagram the other day. They got it. Super good. All right, there are a couple things we wanted to shine a spotlight on this evening. One of those things involves the Little Beaver Brewery. They recently they had an indoor space that was technically like um, it was like an open air open area. air yeah but because it's gotten so cold in illinois they had to close down that whole area so now they're only doing takeout again mm -hmm. but they have the crawlers that you can get which is awesome because they have so many great things on tap that you could get while you were there it's nice that you can get it in a crawler yeah just uh just wonderful choices so these are the the crawlers that uh pretty much have the can top where you have to pop it open they're not like the screw-ons that we've mm -hmm. seen a couple of times. We got two different types. So this is the Man Beaver Wolf, uh, a really funny reference to South Park. Mm -hmm. And it's a an imperial stout with chocolate vanilla and milk, milk sugars. Sugar. And people have described this as cocoa pebbles in a glass, which mm -hmm. is a pretty good. This is an amazing drink. And they never sold it in cans, so it's really nice to get a crowler of it. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also got the little Nutty Buddy which is one of my personal favorites. It just tastes like peanut butter in a cup. I love oh, peanut butter. So mm. This so. one, I we know that I'm not always a stout person, but this one I love, and I usually steal some of his cans when we're able to get it. And this one, I think they did a very brief stint on cans. It just sold out so quickly. Yeah, I, I, we it. were not able to get a can. Let, yeah. me, let me put that out there. Yeah. Um, and then we also just got a four pack of this thing called the Blackberry crumble they did they have a couple of like a series of this where they have the blackberry i think they had blueberry, a blueberry peach i loved peach peach was my life force it's got whatever that fruit is cinnamon vanilla and milk sugar mixed in so you can see it looks literally like a blackberry pie on the can i'm excited for this one i haven't tried it i've had they have the blueberry on tap right now i think at collective here in champagne but uh little beaver is on currency drive in bloomington illinois so not too far of a drive over for us they are doing online ordering so everybody support them get stuff online they are terrific all right the second company that we wanted to put the spotlight on is riggs beer company and i guess they're in urbana champagne they're, they're right in urbana. On the, yeah yeah so they're a brewery right next to us that puts out beer as well this Today, um, they put out kind of like a beer tasting. Yeah, so you could get the four pack, the mixed pack of beer for $14. And then starting at six o'clock tonight, they're gonna have like a virtual, essentially a Zoom call with Matt Riggs, who's the brewmaster at Riggs Beer Company. And he's going to talk about the brewing process, do a tasting on each of these three beers and have a Q and A session. So we're excited to take part in that. Yeah, so, uh, it is a four pack, but the two beers, so there's two Hefeweizens here, which they're most known for. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, there's two different types. There's the American lager. And to be honest, something I've never heard before until uh, we were introduced to this uh, virtual meeting was the double IPL, which is an Indian pale lager. Mm -hmm. And um, day, a hunter from Punch, oh, Punch Bar recommended this to us. So shout out to him. Yeah, it's described online as a high ABV with a palate-wrecking bitter. 
a powerful pine citrus aroma with because of the amount of hops so right. that'll be more of a david area than me but i'm excited to try it it's exciting that they have something new it's a seasonal release yeah and they do have a beer garden out at Riggs, but we don't really know if they have that open for outdoor yeah, kind of like drinking been out there recently to see but they do have a contactless uh pickup that they have so you can order something online they'll put it on a table for you and then you pick it up yourself yeah you just call when you get there they run it out to that table and you can pick it right up so we're gonna go partake in the zoom call or zoom meeting it's online virtual and we'll let you know what we think afterwards taste testing for all of the Riggs beer now. Yeah, so we're gonna do the Hefeweizen, the American Lager, then the double IPL. Yeah. So let's hit it. So we'll start with the Hefeweizen. It is a local example of Bavaria's most popular beer style. Notes of banana and clove. Oh, very nice. Do you smell bananas? It's been so long since I've been to Riggs and had Riggs, yeah. but a little banana maybe little or maybe banana. it's just in my head i'm like okay. Ooh, Ooh, banana's bananas. gotta be there that's pretty good yeah there's definitely a banana tones that's a good hefeweizen yeah that's easy drinking mm -hmm. that's good you can drink a whole you can drink that on a Really nice uh, sunny day and you won't kill yourself because of how thick it is. It's very, very easy drinking. Yeah. Next one is the American Lager. Isn't fancy, but it sure is special. Made with the double mash process. Six row barley malt. All American flavor. Ooh. You ready to taste America? Doesn't smell like America. What's it smell like? Beer? Well, that's America. Another easy going. These are all pretty easy going. I enjoyed that. That's a that's a beer you drink when you watch sports. Who's sport ball? Sport ball. I like the Hefeweizen better. It's got more uh, more tangy flavor to it. This mm -hmm. is what they would call beer flavored beer. I don't know. I, I mean, don't know. That's it's good. I just prefer the Hefeweizen. I yeah. think I get enough of the banana and clove or in my head something special that I don't necessarily get for me personally with the American Lager. Mm-hmm. So we'll move to the third one. The first two glasses we had are these little like uh, triptych glasses. Mm-hmm. We got them at a tasting back in the day at mm -hmm. Triptych. When they, when the memory was still open. Mm -hmm. When we could do the beer tours. But the IPL, we don't, we only had two of those triptych glasses. We got a special guest here. Anna and Elsa. Wow. Very exclusive. All right, I'll let you have those first sips. Oh boy. Oh boy. A double IPL. Never oh, heard of it. Oh, you can smell the hops. Hoppy. Just smell them. Yep. Oh, and you get the bitter. Okay, so it's got Amarillo, Citra. C uh, Centennial and Cascade hops. Mmm. Oh, when they said the the bitterness from the hops, it literally they didn't takes lie. your mouth. It runs the whole way back. Oh, that is crazy. I don't hate it. It's I can't say I've ever had anything that tastes like this. So Riggs, nice idea. Mhm. Mm yeah, it's different. I just I don't personally like the bitterness. I think you do more of the hoppy stuff. Mm -hmm. So. I will stick with my little Hefeweizen. So out of the three, which one do you think you're, the Hefeweizen is clearly I'm already clinking with it. Yeah. What's yours? I'll say the Hef is also my favorite. It's just got good flavors to it. It's unique enough, but it's not also burning my tongue from how bitter it is. Well, then I'll clink to that with your hand. Oh, clink. All right, I think that's going to do it for us today. Yep, day 20 has come to an end. So that means back to work tomorrow. Oh, dang. That's okay. 
Yeah, so we are switching shifts at work, both of us. So we're both switching the evening. So we'll have the next four days on and then starting on Christmas Day, we'll be off for another five. So I'm sure we'll throw in some adventures for you there, but we'll see you guys tomorrow with coffee. More coffee on day 21. Ooh. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.